Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, whichever one it may be. Um, today is going to be my wash and go routine slash repair routine. Using different products in my hair, trying out different methods and everything can cause my hair a lot of damage sometimes. So I have a go-to routine that I use that repairs it as well as it's a wash and go. So I do it and I can really just leave the house. Um, all the products I'm going to be using are all Cantu. I do very much enjoy this company. I love their products. Like, I just don't have any complaints about the products I've used so far from them. But yeah, so this will be my routine on how I get my curls back to life after using products that may have taken some of that life away from them. So I hope you guys enjoy and enjoy. All right, everyone, so today I am doing um, can too in my hair for my style and go uh, So what have I done so far? So so far my hair is washed clean ready to go. I had it wrapped up in a cotton towel um, Before that I did do a hair mask with the can too for natural hair intense repair deep <laughs> treatment mask long title um, So that was in my hair as well. So my hair is like super soft. It's like amazing and the products that I'm gonna use today I'm kind of staying true to the whole um, I'm not using a gel base today I just, I just want to see what my curls will be like without it in there so I'm just going to use two different products um, I'm going to use the coconut curling cream by them and I'm also going to use the leave-in conditioner repair cream so I'm gonna do both of these I'm going to also keep this around which is their coconut oil shine and hold mist just in case I get any frizzies but like I said it's all going to be can too so yes but I do know um, I was actually looking online um, they do have a a gel like how I use usually I use like a repair cream and a gel um, they do have a gel base I just I didn't get it I just wanted those ones so that's what I'm going to be using today so I'm just gonna take a little bit well first let me tell you what they're supposed to do um, so this one the leave-in conditioner repair cream um, so it helps mend hair breakage repair split ends and reduce frizz protect hair from heat damage hydrate and moisturize with shea butter and natural oils let's see and for the directions for a daily styling apply a generous amount of products to ends of damp hair and work towards roots Come through for even distribution. Do not rinse. Apply more to ends for longer hair or problem areas. So that's that one. And let's see the curling cream. Um, this one defines conditions and adds manageable manageability, revealing soft, elongated curls made with pure shea butter and formulated without harsh ingredients. Cantu restores your real, authentic beauty. Embrace your curly, coily, or wavy hair with Cantu. Directions, smooth on to damp hair, section by section, beginning at the root. Work, toward, work towards the ends. Do not rinse. Can be used on dry hair to re-moisturize curls. Basically the same thing for both of them, but whatever. So I guess I'm just going to use this one first. The Cantu Curling Cream, which smells... Smells so good. So I'm going to start at my roots and work my way to the bottom. Now the reason why I wanted to use the curling cream and the repair cream is because in my last video I used the curls products, which usually are great. Um, I'm not knocking their products or anything, but I used, I'm pretty sure it was their goddess, what was it, goddess curls gel. And it was really harsh in my hair um, it really it was harsh so I'm using the repair cream not at the roots as much just at the ends and then I will take my comb and brush it through even though my hair was already brushed before but just to make sure so my method for this I've done this before um, it's really like when my when I've done a product in my hair and it has a bad reaction or dries it out I try to do this and it gets my curls back in shape without any issues. 
So just like before, I'm just going to take my curling cream, just a little bit, work it at the beginning of my hair, down towards the roots. And then once I hit the roots, get a little bit of leave-in and go through on the roots. So I'm going to repeat this as many times as necessary and I will be back as soon as I finish that. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have the product all through my hair, um, all that jazz. I have it brushed out. I just took my comb just to make sure the product was distributed evenly. And yes, my ends are still a little, I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna take this coconut oil and I'm just gonna focus it on my ends before I let my hair air dry, like so. This stuff smells bomb too. Like if you style your hair with all three of these products, Oh, your hair is going to smell A1. A1. I'm telling you. It smells so flipping good. Alright. Okay. So that is in. My hair is ready. I'm going to stop touching with my hands because that will frizz it out as well. Take my little cotton just to get soak it up. Okay, so I'm going to go let my hair air dry. Then I will be back and I will tell you guys how it went from there. All right, and my hair is dry. I'm currently styling it, puffing it up, all that fun stuff. So, for my wash and go routine with Cantu, like I said, I use the Cantu Curling Cream for my roots down. And I use the leave-in conditioning repair cream specifically for my ends of my hair. And I also use a little bit of the coconut oil shine and hold mist. And that's really for after it starts to dry. And I just sprayed my face. After it starts to dry, any areas that I'm seeing that I just need a little bit, a little bit more TLC. So let me just put that through. Now with these products, this is literally my go-to repair system. So especially doing YouTube and everything where I am trying out different products, different methods, just different that my hair is not used to. I feel like it's really important for anybody who tries out a lot of products to have a routine that they go back to, to kind of repair any damage that those other products may have caused or that that routine is causing. Um, so that is mine. Now my curls like this, they literally will be like this till wash day. I won't have to put any gels or anything in them. The only downfall from this is it can, um, my curls sometimes can lose a little bit of their form because there's no gel or anything keeping the curl form in them, which is why I usually would use like a curling cream plus a curl type of gel. Um, but when I'm repairing, I keep the gels away, even if they're no alcohol, no none of that. I still just kind of just, eh, no, I'll let my hair be a little poopier and, you know, all of that. So I think that's why this comes into play a lot. Um, I keep it with me throughout the day just in case my curls, I work long hours. So just in case my curls do need a little bit of extra, I have that with me, but neither than that. My curls are usually pretty set to go. Um, I love these products. I definitely recommend them. They're all very affordable. I've seen them basically anywhere hair products are sold. Walmarts, Target, Sally's, all of that. I know Walgreens, freaking all of those. So they're very affordable, very easy to get your hands on. And I highly recommend all three of them. They are great. They feel great. They smell great. I don't know what else. I could say look great but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed my new wash routine kind of wash repair routine from doing all of this and I hope you guys are having a great 2018 and I will see you next video bye